At busy boat ramps, it's inconsiderate and selfish to hold up others. Prepare your boat for launching before you drive it onto the ramp. Check the boat, its safety gear, fuel and other supplies before you arrive. Check that the bung is in. Remove the trailer lights if they're not waterproof. Unclip the tie downs holding the boat to the trailer. Lower your engine. Check that the key is in and the fuel is on. Check that the shackle of the safety chain is finger tight so that you'll not need tools to unfasten it on the ramp. Attach one end of mooring line, which is called the painter, to the bollard on the bow and the other end to the stern cleat. This is so you can keep control of the boat as it floats off the trailer. The painter helps control both the bow and stern at the same time when you launch the boat. If you're not an expert at backing trailers, it's best to line up the towing vehicle and trailer in a straight line before you start. When reversing, all you need to do is keep straight. Practice where there are no other boats. If you do get horribly offline, it's usually wise to stop, drive back up the ramp until you're straight again, and then have a second go. If you're on a ramp wide enough to cater for two or more vehicles, keep to one side so that you don't hold up anyone else. Trailers and boats vary. In most cases, stop your vehicle when the rear wheels reach the water. Put your handbrake on. Then loosen the cable and unclip it. Then release the safety chain from the towing eye. Now back the trailer in a little further until the boat slides or floats off. Use the painter to maneuver the boat out of the way while the towing vehicle and trailer are parked. Retrieving your boat is the reverse of the launch exercise. Don't use the engine power of the boat to drive it onto the trailer. This scours out the seabed and leaves a dangerous drop off at the end of the ramp. Release and run out the winch wire before you back the trailer down the ramp. Attach the cable, wind up the boat, attach the safety chain, then drive away from the ramp before hosing down the boat and preparing it for the road. If you're moving to another area, make sure you thoroughly wash and dry off your boat and all your gear. Pests such as Didymo cause untold damage to our waterways and boats are one of the very common ways they travel and infect other places. A day on the water is great fun and the sea and the sun are a sure way to make you sleep well. But if you have to drive any distance, falling asleep at the wheel is a real possibility. Stop at a motel and leave early the next day, or even catching some sleep on a bunk in the boat may be enough. But always be prepared to get the rest you need before you drive.